What is up guys, Kevin's like this is here with a new video and today we'll be repairing a electric skateboard that I bought off paper Walkers for like $70. They got a gun worth like 500 so let's see how this project goes, I never have one. And so here's the skateboard. Um, is, I mean, so I took, so when I first got it, this was broken, I couldn't stand it, but this was loose, I tightened it back. And now that's fixed. And here's the original battery. I cut these wires off because I don't need them. But you see how it has a hole on here. That's probably why it didn't work. I couldn't find the original battery. So I found the replacement. It's similar. It's a little bigger. So I'm going to have to break all of these brackets off to make it fit. And when I ordered this battery, it was it came in this weird thing. So I had to dismantle the whole thing and they glued this in here if I pulled it out though. And then I was like, okay, that's a little half of it, whatever I got it out. And then when I went to go try it, I realized the connector well, I cut it off now, but the connector was different here. So the connector was like this. They were the same one so they wouldn't go in. It wouldn't go in, so that was a problem. I needed this connector to go on it, but I had to cut, I had to cut this off for maybe to swap the connector off of it. So what I did was I cut this off of the the old battery, and this needs to go on the skateboard. I cut that off. So my plan is to solder this on here, and I've also got these because originally it looked like this so basically you this stuff on the seat it to cover it up. I was gonna use electrical tape but I said I'm going to use the same way how they had it and stuff. So all that I do now is just wait for that to get done heating up. I'm gonna solder on the new connector so basically I'm switching it out. So if I want to get rid of this one and use this one now on here. And hopefully this works because the battery's a lot bigger as you can see. Well, something up. But yeah, the battery's a lot bigger. Well, a little bit bigger. But, and I thought it probably was a dumb idea to try cutting the wire on the battery. I said, screw that. Next time I get blown up the screen, that thing. So, step one is to try to redo the wiring on the skateboard and then see if it turns on and blows up. And if it does work out, yeah, step two would be to cut all this out and try to make it fit.
Okay. It's very sketchy and dangerous, but we'll see what it is. It works, I think. I don't got my remote, but it came on. Woohoo! I didn't blow anything up, it worked. All that crap I went through to get that to work. So yeah, it was a dumb idea of me to use the soldering gun back. I'm trying to make it nice and professional, but that kind of failed, unfortunately. So I had to go with the method, with this uh, quick method, not the method I want to do. But this is what I should have did in the beginning. Yeah, we'd have to cut that, but oh well. I guess 11 years on. Well, now, so we don't have to do that. But on the plus side, I do not have to order all the time. So, I am the buy all the batteries. I don't have to do this for. I'm not sure I make this neat. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, I'm not happy with how this looks though. I'm going to that now. She got bigger tape. Yeah, I'm not happy how this looks. But I'm just happy it looks at least. That's what I'm happy about right now. That didn't blow up, never caught fire. It 
work. So we successfully fixed that. It runs on its own, I'm going to cut it off. But it runs on the battery now, this is fucked up like it used to. This is the most horrible job pop has done, but hey, I tried. Just soldering, I had to get my practice, but at least it works. Now we just gotta modify the shell. Hopefully it all can stay together. Right here. Hopefully that works with this. This is not fun. I can get the right tool. This, this video is so unprepared, but this is a learning experience. Also, you know, I'm going to use battery before I stab it and blow myself up. But, move it up the way. Switch this. This might make the product better way, but this is my way. So I ended up breaking the wire, but I mean, honestly though, it was stabbing the battery anyway, too long, so I found this off the part that I got, and this is shorter, but it's still long, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drill an opening right here for this, so it's going to poke on the side, instead of right there, and I'm going to probably, oh, let me see. I'm gonna have the poach poking out on the same side as the battery indicator, so I'm gonna put it probably in place here. Look at that, y'all. Looks better than the original. That's where it used to be. I drew the hole and put it right there. Hopefully, this modification works. What a clean installation this was. Got it right there. Cover it up. I haven't figured out how to cover the hole yet, but that's the new port. That's the old one I got rid of. It fits in there. Hopefully, it's not this damaged by space. Push the crap out of it. Fit in there. And it's working. Looks even better. I'm gonna do some of that. But look. The lights. Well guys, what a huge success that was. Had to take this weird battery bank apart. The buttons up, so I ripped that off. Ripped the battery. I had to cut this unfortunate shift cut longer to make the job easier. Oh well, then I had to remove the glue from this board to get that out. This used to go to this thing, but I don't see a new place anyway, but this broke off and messed me up. But thankfully this has another part on now. Honestly, it made it better because it's smaller. And I see I broke all these pieces that you saw earlier inside the chassis in here. And now I installed this nice new port. Honestly, it looks better because it even covers the, the port. It even covers it. I did not put this on, but it's so nice and snug and tight on there that honestly, I don't even think it needs it. I just figured how to cover that. But this is a success. I got this thing working. This, when I first got this, it only stayed on when you plug it in. Maybe I'm plugging it cut off things to it. It didn't stay on. But I'm writable. Now it's writable and it has a longer battery life. Now I'm just hoping it's, it's uh, safely uh, in there. It, I, I'm pretty sure it's nice and snug. That guy's gonna move in there. But I hope nothing is poking it like this. Because this is, this is, um, this part why you had the most space inside the box. Try the whole thing. I was gonna originally keep it in this old spot, but there was barely any space for this port. Now the new wire is smaller, and it, it just barely fit in that spot. Better than that spot, so that was a success. So now this thing is runnable. Um, I rolled it outside, just it on myself so well. It works though, and it's a success. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Peace.